Hey, I'm Dr. Fred Gandolfo. I'm a gastroenterologist in Long Island, New York. And today you're gonna to watch me throw back this entire container of Sutab bowel prep pills in 30 seconds. Woo! Hot. We told you five times you're not taking the pills today, Doc. Wait, what do you mean? I canceled all my afternoon plans for this. York. Today I want to make a quick video and show everyone a product that's used for colonoscopy prep called Sutab. Uh, I'm not a paid spokesperson for this product, but it's something I've been using in my practice for the past two years, and it's really improved patients' tolerance of colonoscopies. Uh, we all know that colonoscopy is a very important test to detect and prevent colon cancer. And um, the worst part about the test is really not the procedure itself. You're sleepy for that. It's You get some sedation. It's very easy, actually. Uh, but the worst part about the, the whole procedure is really the bowel preparation that you have to do the day before. Uh, previously, it was a bunch of liquid that you had to drink that tasted pretty disgusting, and then over the years it's gotten a little better, but always been based on that uh, nasty tasting liquid. Uh, and I, In fact, I made a video a couple years back about uh, a product that I used to use at the time, which I still use occasionally, called Sue Prep, which is a liquid and works very well. Uh, and that company came out with a new product a few years back that I've been using called Sutab. So I wanted to show you that today because I've been using this for a couple of years now and patients seem to like it a lot more than the liquid preps. And if patients seem to like it better, it improves the whole quality of the exam and it makes uh, more people come in for their colonoscopies and uh, hopefully will prevent more colon cancer. Uh, so here's a quick look at the product. It comes in a box, it's very light because it's just pills and there's no nasty stuff you have to drink. Uh, inside of the package is a container with uh, two, I'm gonna put this over here, with two bottles of pills. Uh, each one contains 12 tablets. So I'm gonna show you this in a little close-up view and I'll show you how to take the tablets. But this mixing container is really just to measure the water that you have to drink. And you have to fill this up to the mark, which is 16 ounces. Uh, and then after you drink it once, you fill it up again, you drink it again, you fill it up again, you drink it again, but you just have to drink water. There's no disgusting tasting liquid uh, that you have to drink for this uh, prep, which is great news. So before we look at this a little closer, I wanted to give you a couple of tips about how to do bowel preparation for a colonoscopy. Uh, it's by far the most important thing that you can do as the patient, besides coming in for your appointment, uh, the bowel preparation is really the, the key. So if the doctor who's performing the colonoscopy can't see the lining of the intestine, then the, the, the whole procedure is kind of worthless because uh, being able to detect these little growths called polyps and remove them is part of colorectal cancer prevention. Uh, so part, so the, the key really is following a diet for a couple of days prior to your bowel prep and watching out for seeds, nuts, and lots of roughage, which are fruits and vegetables with skins that don't really easily break down. So think about beans and corn and uh, fruits with the skins on them, uh, cherries, blackberries, blueberries, stuff like that doesn't really break down so easily in the intestine, which is good news normally because it's a good source of fiber, etc. But for your colonoscopy, you want to be much better uh, cleaned out than that. So it's much better to avoid that stuff for two to three days prior to your procedure date. Uh, and then as the day of the procedure approaches, the day before you have to remember to only have a light breakfast. A light breakfast consists of some white toast, a couple of eggs, maybe some yogurt with honey on it, uh, grits, oatmeal with nothing really in it besides honey, but you don't want to have uh, any roughage for breakfast that morning uh, prior to the procedure because after that you're going to be following a liquid diet totally. Liquids for us consist of jello, Italian ices, tea, broth, coffee, water, juice, anything that kind of melts and becomes a, a, a thin liquid in your body. So after you follow a liquid diet all day, then around 5 p.m. or so, it depends on the patient, but around 5 p.m. or so, we'll, we'll, get, we'll start the prep, the Sue tab in this case. Um, and what you do is you open up one of these bottles, which I'll do now, and inside the bottle, you're gonna find some pills. It comes it's sealed, obviously. And if I can break this thing open, there it is. Here are the pills. There's 12 in each bottle. They're about this big, but they're coated and they're pretty easy to swallow. It comes with a little bit of uh, desiccant, so don't eat this. It says it right on it, obviously, not to eat that, um, but you never know. So what you do is you take these pills one at a time. You start around five o'clock in the evening, 
You've been following that clear liquid diet for most of the day. You had a very light breakfast. You're all ready for your colonoscopy. You have nothing planned that night. You take one pill, you wash it down with some water. You take another pill, you wash it down with some water until you finish really 16 ounces of water, which is uh, this container. You finish the, all the 12 pills plus the 16 ounces of water. You wait about one hour or so. The pills and the water are kind of mixing up inside your stomach and creating the stuff that causes the bowel preparation. After that, you drink uh, another container of water. So you wait one hour after finishing the pills, you drink another container of 16 ounces of water, and then you wait another half an hour or so and you drink one more container of 16 ounces of water. So throughout that evening, you've, you've had a lot of water, but it's just water. Um, after that, you're gonna start moving your bowels quite a bit. Some people, this kicks in very quickly within a few minutes of taking the first pill. Some people, it takes hours. Uh, the key is really just to stick to the program and make sure you drink all the water when you're supposed to and make sure you take all the pills and finish them all up. That's dose one. If you notice, there's two bottles in here. And much like all the modern bowel preps, uh, Sutab is, is split into two doses, which improves the clean out effect and also is a little easier for your body to tolerate taking two things uh, separated in time rather than trying to take it all at once. Um, so what you do is you take the first dose around five o'clock in the evening, and the second dose it depends on the time of your colonoscopy. You may take it that evening, maybe around nine o'clock, eight or nine o'clock, uh, for, a, for a very early morning procedure the next day, or if your procedure is scheduled a little later, it's better actually to take the second dose the morning of the test, about five hours prior, which is called split dose bowel preparation. And studies show that that improves the detection of polyps because it gives you a better clean out. And it's a little easier for your body to break it up, um, as opposed to taking it all at once. But first, let's talk about patients' experience with SUTEP. Uh, once again, I don't get money for these videos. I'm just making it to show everybody what the deal is over here. Um, but patients' experience with this medicine has overall been quite good compared to the traditional bowel preparations. Uh, people do, however, report nausea or sometimes vomiting as a side effect of this preparation. And it's not just this preparation that does it. Just a couple of years ago when we were giving on liquid preparations, people reported nausea and vomiting with those as well. Uh, but that was, for some reason, people expected it because the stuff was so disgusting when you drank it, where this is sometimes a surprise. And, um, you know, the, the evidence, the, the, what I tell people to do when they have problems with this prep is to just slow it down. So the, on the back of the package, it will tell you to take uh, all the pills over about 15 to 20 minutes, which I find is a little bit fast for most people. So in my practice, which is my uh, opinion on, on what I do here, uh, I slow down the prep a little bit and I instruct people to take each pill uh, every three minutes, to, sometimes even every five minutes. So in the, you, you'll stretch out those 12 pills uh, over a period of time, of, you know, almost up to an hour uh, in some cases, as opposed to just throwing them all back in 15 minutes. And I find that that causes less people to complain about nausea and less people to have vomiting as a side effect. So if you're having issues with these pills, or if you're noticing that you're starting to get full or nauseous feeling when you're, when you're taking them, uh, just slow it down. Just take one pill every three to five minutes. You'll get through them all within an hour. Make sure you finish that first container of water with all the 12 pills. And then after that, you give yourself a break for about one hour. Then you take one more container of water, another break for a half an hour, one more container of water, and that's it for the first dose. The second dose, as we said, you do depending on what time your exam is scheduled for the next day, and that is an individual decision that you have to come up with with your doctor. So I hope you enjoyed this brief video on SUTAB. Uh, it's great that there's a pill-based prep that's safe and has been out for a couple of years now and has a good track record, and hopefully this encourages more people to come in for their colonoscopies, which if you forgot, you are supposed to get a colonoscopy at the age of 45 now. It used to be 50. Uh, a couple of years ago, they started to change the guidelines, and now it's a solid 45 years old for men or women. And the reason for that is we're finding more stuff in that 45 to 50 year old age group that could turn into cancer when you hit your early 50s. So if we look a little earlier, we'll prevent a few more cancers. And that's totally worth it. This prep makes it a lot easier. So hopefully this little video encouraged you to come in for your colonoscopy or tell your family members to take care of themselves at the age of 45. Thanks for listening. Take care.